48 hours removed from Backlash in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Monday Night Raw rolls into the Veterans Memorial here in Jacksonville, Florida, as we kick off the road to the Raw exclusive Vengeance event on May the 11th. And coming up right here tonight on the red brand for the first time since WrestleMania, the Prince Finn Balor and the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest, the Judgment Day return to action. The 2023 Tag Team of the Year, former two-time World Tag Team Champions. It's an open challenge to the Raw locker room. Who will step up and take on the Judgment Day in your main event? But kicking things off here at the Veterans Memorial, the Mega Star L.A. Knight. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds. L.A. Knight. Well, let's take you back to backlash. Just 48 hours ago, L.A. Knight competing in the chaotic fatal four-way main event, but it seemed near the closing moments that the personal issues between Knight and Seth freaking Rollins really got in each other's way, as you see Kevin Owens taking advantage of the backs being turned, Owens retaining the WWE Championship in the main event. Seth Rollins targeting LA Knight in those closing moments had his back turned and it all came back to haunt him. Rollins and Knight have been at each other's throats for weeks and those personal issues continued this past Saturday night at Backlash. But tonight LA Knight refocuses on a different challenger, trying to get back in contention for the WWE title. A man who made his return to the red brand for the first time since WrestleMania seven nights ago. The King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, who said he's made a list, checked it twice. He's kept his receipts. What is going on in the devious mind of the King? The next time these Raw superstars come your way for a live premiere event, it is Saturday night, May the 11th at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Raw is rolling in the Mechanics Bank Arena in Bakersfield, California for the 2024 WWE Vengeance event. And you got to wonder where these two stars wind up on that match card. As we mentioned, Nakamura returning to Raw for the first time since WrestleMania last week at the draft lottery. An emphatic victory over the A-list superstar, The Miz. Nakamura told WWE.com last week that he has made a list, checked it twice, and he has kept his receipts. Nakamura said when the time is right, he will strike. Who the hell and what the hell is Nakamura referring to? Questions that we need answers to, but tonight Nakamura reignites an old rivalry with the megastar LA Knight. These two superstars, no strangers to each other. Several of encounters throughout 2023. Now they lock horns again. 48 hours removed from a raucous backlash event in San Juan, Puerto Rico. The bell has sounded. We are underway here in Jacksonville tonight. And what's going to be an action-packed night as it always is on Monday Night Raw. As for LA Knight, may have... Not been pinned on Saturday, but of course coming up short regardless. His pursuit of the WWE Championship, something that the Megastar has turned his sights towards over the last month and change here on Raw. So an opportunity for LA Knight to possibly climb the mountain a little bit more. Stake his claim as a future number one contender for Kevin Owens, WWE Championship. As for Shinsuke Nakamura, obviously something is going on in the mind of Nakamura. Came up short at WrestleMania against CM Punk. Did such a number on Punk, however. Punk has been out indefinitely ever since. The King of Strong Style returned last week and obviously sent a message to the Raw locker room in that WWE.com interview. But as we mentioned, those are all questions that we need answers to as to what is going on in the mind of Shinsuke Nakamura. Hopefully Nakamura will reveal those thoughts in due time, but tonight, Got to focus on the task at hand, the megastar, L.A. Knight. He's certainly going to give Nakamura a run for his money. Nice shoulder block over the top rope. Great agility shown 
by the Megastar. It's only a one count that time. Well, the Judgment Day, of course, set for their return here tonight in the main event. Going to be an open challenge from those two superstars. Also coming up tonight, hot off the heels of retaining his gold last week, the Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn is in the house, set for a non-title encounter against Baron Corbin. That's coming up later tonight here at the Veterans Memorial in Jacksonville. And now Nakamura just getting back into this matchup. The beatdown commences over LA Knight. Big victory and an emphatic one at that last week at the draft lottery. Nakamura not looking to see his momentum go by the wayside. Oof! Well, Nakamura told him to come on. LA Knight giving him the fury with that clothesline. With the ropes he goes. Nakamura might have bit off more than he can chew. I am sure LA Knight is not feeling 100% after the brutal fatal four-way on Saturday, but nonetheless, the fight continues tonight on Raw. Nakamura surviving another moment for LA Knight. Those issues with Seth freaking Rollins really getting intertwined in his pursuit of the WWE Championship. Those two may have gotten in each other's way on Saturday night. But tonight, LA Knight looks to move past those issues with Rollins and look towards the WWE Championship. Nakamura could just be a roadblock in the Megastar's road to WWE title glory. Nakamura, I'm sure, would love to move up the ranks himself. LA Knight just could be a stepping stone on Nakamura's return to Monday Night Raw as it proceeds over the last few weeks. And this is vintage Shinsuke Nakamura here. A little bit of good vibrations in the corner. LA Knight may be feeling the effects of the fatal four-way coming back to haunt him. See how Nakamura just slows down the pace of the matchup. LA Knight really gets the crowd going. Nakamura looking to take Jacksonville out of it for good. Death Valley driver to the megastar. Shinsuke Nakamura looking to pick apart LA Knight here tonight on Raw. One by one, maneuver by maneuver. Nakamura just picking apart LA Knight. And again, we mentioned it before, taking Jacksonville out of it. Nakamura looking to wrestle his style of match. You saw how vicious he was last week at the draft lottery, mowing over the A-list superstar in The Miz. Obviously, a lot easier said than done when you're in there with LA Knight. As both men look to go high. Knight off the counter, here he comes! Oh, wait a minute. The visionary, Seth freaking Rollins, with his eyes locked on LA Knight. Those ever looming issues, Rollins looking to take care of LA Knight. Meanwhile, Nakamura looking to take advantage. Almost steal the victory there. A costly distraction by Seth freaking Rollins. Well, I am sure Rollins takes no accountability for coming up short in the WWE title match on Saturday. I am sure he is putting the blame on LA Knight. LA Knight and Rollins came to blows in the middle of this ring just last week at the closing moments of Raw. Issues that bled into the fatal four-way on Saturday and may be the biggest reason why neither man left as the WWE Champion. Now Seth Rollins looking to get even, and Shinsuke Nakamura looking to take advantage, but LA Knight has still got some fight left in him. Sending Nakamura back into the ring could be a costly distraction or may have just lit a fire under the megastar tonight. LA Knight throwing some hands with Nakamura. Some may say that's not the best idea as LA Knight gets sent to the ropes. King Shasta! by Shinsuke! Seth freaking Rollins paying Nakamura dividends here tonight. Here is your winner, Shinsuke Nakamura! Well, when LA Knight shakes the cobwebs off, you gotta believe he is gonna be looking for Seth freaking Rollins. Nakamura, although with an asterisk, gets a victory nonetheless. What is going on in the mind of the calculated Shinsuke? What receipts has he kept? When will we get answers from Shinsuke Nakamura? Well, this past Saturday night in San Juan, Puerto Rico, two Monday Night Raw superstars locked horns of the WWE Women's Championship. 
That, of course, being the champion Liv Morgan and the previous number one contender, the buff Barbie, Tiffany Stratton. Stratton has certainly been making some waves on Monday Night Raw in 2024, and many thought Backlash was going to be her crowning moment. Stratton left it all in the ring. No one has ever knocked the abilities of the buff Barbie, and she certainly gave Liv Morgan a fight. But in the end, the ever-resilient champion finding a way to win. Liv Morgan walking out of the Coliseum this past Saturday, still holding the WWE Women's Championship that she won originally back at WrestleMania. And of course, Liv Morgan, back at the show of shows, was the one to keep down the nightmare, Rhea Ripley. Damian Priest and Finn Balor, not the only ones from the Judgment Day, lacing up their boots for the first time since the show of shows last month. The Eradicator, Rhea Ripley, returns to action, and I am sure she has got vengeance on her mind. The 2023 Women's Superstar of the Year, former Money in the Bank holder, held the WWE Women's Championship from September to March, defeating the likes of Becky Lynch, Shayna Baszler, Alba Fire, Asuka, you name it, line them up. Rhea Ripley knocked them all over. And that does include a victory over Liv Morgan back in January at the Royal Rumble. Unfortunately for Rhea, Liv Morgan came back hungry to rewrite history, and that's what she did last month at WrestleMania. Liv Morgan has taken control of the Monday Night Raw Women's Division. As the champion on top of the world, we saw what she did on Saturday night, turning away the challenge of Tiffany Stratton. But Rhea Ripley, alongside dirty Dominic Mysterio, is back here tonight. The ominous presence of the Judgment Day once again is looming over Monday Night Raw, and you gotta believe they are coming back to get what is theirs. Nonetheless, Katana Chance scoring the unlucky straw tonight, going one-on-one -on -one with Rhea Ripley. Katana Chance, Caden Carter drafted right here to roll last week. And Katana Chance making a roll debut, certainly not against the woman I'm sure she would like to oppose. Chance going low while Rhea Ripley went high, able to take out the knee in the opening moments and has got Rhea grounded momentarily. An obvious size disadvantage here. Look at the David versus Goliath lineup that this is. Katana's got to try to stick and move and take things to the air like her and Chance love to do. Or her and Carter love to do, excuse me. Rhea Ripley, a whole different animal inside of that ring. As we mentioned, former WWE Women's Champion, Money in the Bank holder, 2023 Women's Superstar of the Year, as voted by you, the fans. Now Rhea Ripley competing from bell to bell for the first time since WrestleMania. And you gotta believe Rhea, as well as Priest and Balor, are coming back for all the gold that they lost just over six weeks ago. Rhea Ripley held an iron fist over the Monday Night Raw Women's Division. Dominated month in and month out. Said it before, we'll say it again. The Women's Division lined up to take on the Nightmare. Rhea Ripley knocked each and every one of them down. Well, many have called the victory for Liv Morgan at WrestleMania a fluke, that she caught Rhea Ripley off one mistake. You can't say Liv Morgan is a deserving champion. She proved that this past Saturday, but a victory over Rhea Ripley, there might be a little bit of a case to that point. Nonetheless, Liv Morgan is the champion. Rhea Ripley looking to show her stuff as a challenger potentially tonight. Absolutely mowing over Katana Chance so far. Look at this, Rhea's just having her way. First time competing from bell to bell in over six weeks, and Rhea is looking to send an emphatic message to the Monday Night Raw locker room. She knows there's some women like Katana Chance and Kanan Carter getting drafted over here to the red brand last week, as well as the champion on top. Rhea Ripley looking to make a statement to everybody who laces up a pair of boots in the women's locker room. Rhea's house. Oh, Katana Chance. Look at her trying to have a fighting chance against Rhea. Knocking her off the apron. Might have just pissed off the Eradicator. My goodness. 
We said it before, Rhea Ripley looking to prove herself all over again as a potential challenger for Luke Morgan's WWE Women's Championship. So far, so good. This kind of dominance is why Rhea Ripley was on top of the women's division here on Raw month after month. Absolutely ragdolling Katana to the outside. Now back inside. Thanks for coming, Katana. Chance, Riptide. This is Rhea Ripley's house. Liv Morgan may just be living in it temporarily. Rhea is back on Raw. And you gotta believe she's got vengeance in mind. Here is your winner, Rhea Ripley. Wherever Liv Morgan is, I am sure she has got a close eye on the woman who once held her championship. Rhea making quick work of Katana Chance. An ever looming message sent. A vibe that surrounds Monday Night Raw tonight. The Judgment Day is back. The Judgment Day is on the hunt. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast-paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way exclusively every Wednesday to the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. A new season in the WWE is upon us, and you haven't seen anything yet. Don't miss Velocity every single Wednesday, only on TikTok. Earlier today, Raw's newest draftee, Braun Breaker, took to X and had this to say, I gave my fight against Gunther everything I had, but I just fell short. That's on me. New era, new mindset. Now I take my talents to Raw, but first stop, Velocity. This Wednesday, I'm throwing down the challenge to the Raw locker room. Who wants to see if they got that dog in them? Braun Breaker falling short in his pursuit of the World Heavyweight Championship 48 hours ago on Backlash. But of course, last week was drafted to the red brand. The badass of WWE is making his way to Monday Night Raw. And his first matchup, a part of the red brand, comes this Wednesday on Velocity, when he will go one-on-one -on -one with another one of Raw's newest draftees, that being Dijak, former World Tag Team Champion, who has spent the last year re-honing his craft in NXT. Dijak is back. Braun Breakers on Raw. These two men collide this Wednesday on Velocity, only on TikTok. But that is Wednesday, and this is tonight. In the Veterans Memorial in Jacksonville, Florida, well, we are set for some singles action. The Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn survived a fight against Carmelo Hayes last week, retaining the Intercontinental Championship. The title may not be on the line tonight, but he's got a target on his back. Baron Corbin looking to hit the bullseye as they go one-on-one -on -one right now. It's scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City. Weighing in at 285 pounds. There is Corbin! The next time the Monday Night Raw superstars come your way, a part of a live premiere event, is Saturday night, May the 11th, at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. We are rolling in the Mechanics Bank Arena in Bakersfield, California, for the Raw exclusive Vengeance! Cannot wait to see how that match card plays out over the next couple of weeks. Vengeance come your way Saturday night, May the 11th, exclusively on behalf of Monday Night Raw. Eric Corbin's been back on the red brand for a couple of months now. Tonight, an opportunity for him to break through, possibly earn himself an Intercontinental Championship match in due time. But Sami Zayn fought so hard to get that gold. And although it's not on the line tonight, he knows the target's on his back. He knows challengers await. Sami Zayn not looking to give up his fight anytime soon. Intercontinental Champion, Sammy Zayn! 
Well, let's take you back to last week at the draft lottery. Sami Zayn defending the Intercontinental Championship against Carmelo Hayes, somebody who had been on the tail of Zayn for weeks here on Monday Night Raw. And Melo came within inches on multiple occasions throughout the matchup of winning the Intercontinental Championship, even taking the fight to the outside and brutalizing Sami Zayn at ringside. Unfortunately for Melo, that haluva kick that you just saw was the exclamation point on his Intercontinental Championship desires. Sami Zayn retaining the gold that is around his waist tonight. The Trick Melo gang later last week was drafted over to Friday Night SmackDown. So with Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams out of his hair, Sami Zayn looks to venture down a new path, but you gotta wonder, Sami Zayn may not be coming into this fight with Baron Corbin tonight at 100%. A physical matchup with Carmelo Hayes last week. Corbin may be looking to pick the bones right off the get-go. Choke slam to the Intercontinental Champion. Sami Zayn with the fight within him to push through, and that's what he needed to do last week. He may, not, may have to revisit that mindset, I should say, here tonight in Jacksonville. Aaron Corbin made his Monday Night Raw return after spending some time down at NXT. Just a couple of months ago, found himself alongside Karrion Cross and Joe Gacy in a war against the brawling brutes. That partnership, if it wasn't blown up already, certainly went astray. Last week at the draft, the brawling brutes sent over to SmackDown. Joe Gacy also sent over to fire Friday Night SmackDown. We talked about Karrion Cross a few weeks ago. He seemingly has cut his ties with both, both Gacy and Baron Corbin, if we can get it out tonight. Oh! Baron Corbin trying to venture down a new path as well on his own here on Monday Night Raw. Uncharacteristic shoulder block off the top did not pay him dividends. And Sami Zayn just trying to find a way back into this matchup. But Baron Corbin charged at the Intercontinental Champion. Corbin's been a champion across the WWE before. Tag Team Champion, United States Champion, but it's been quite some time since Corbin found success in the main roster. In the last few months, he's been an up and down ship here on Raw. Maybe tonight is where Corbin turns it all around. The Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn, fought long and hard to obtain that gold. Back at WrestleMania, my goodness! Tornado DDT to Baron Corbin. Corbin with the shoulder up. Sami Zayn almost had him there. As we are about to mention, Sami Zayn fought so long and hard to win the Intercontinental Championship. We can't get the story out because Baron Corbin and Sami Zayn are throwing live rounds. Deep six. Sami Zayn survived, but for how much longer? Corbin, end of days to the Intercontinental Champion. That may do it. Oof, close call. Close call for Sami Zayn. Deep six followed by the end of days. Baron Corbin did not come to mince words tonight. Foot has been on the gas pedal. Baron Corbin wants to see his name in the lights. And Sami Zayn with a pop-up drop kick. Zayn very familiar with this kind of situation. The underdog from the underground. Fighting an uphill battle even as the Intercontinental Champion. We know Zayn isn't coming into this matchup 100% after the war with Carmelo Hayes last week, but Zayn ready to give it all he has. Corbin to the outside. Tornado DDT by the Intercontinental Champion. Jacksonville, Florida, blowing the roof off the Veterans Memorial as Sami Zayn looking to keep his foot on the proverbial gas pedal. And another tough pace to Asita. Baron Corbin dealt his best hand. Sami Zayn might have realized that he is in for a war tonight. Something waking up in the Intercontinental Champion over the last few moments. Zayn giving everything he's got to Baron Corbin. A taller, stronger competitor. Zayn literally fighting an uphill battle as he just found out firsthand. Man, I don't think anybody expected this kind of fight between Corbin and Zayn tonight in the Veterans Memorial, but here we are. Corbin looking to prove himself as a potential challenger for Zayn's Intercontinental Championship. Sami Zayn trying to fight through the pain of last week, fight through the added pain of Baron Corbin here tonight and find a way to win. 
100%, 50%. Zane's going to give it all he has nonetheless. Baron Corbin may just have the blueprint to victory. Baron Corbin did not come back to Raw just to be a warm body on the roster. Corbin's looking for his piece of the pie as he comes off the top. Nobody home. Springboard, another tornado. First in the corner, then on the outside, then off the ropes. Sami Zayn utilizing that DDT to the fullest extent tonight. Followed by the Exploder. Baron Corbin may be in trouble. Blue Thunderbomb by the Intercontinental Champion. Sami Zayn with this matchup on its head. Baron Corbin, however, able to roll out, shoulder off the canvas. Man, these two men throwing live rounds tonight. Baron Corbin came charging at Sami Zayn since the opening bell, and Zayn has had to fight his darndest to meet him in the middle. Corbin surviving that blue thunder bomb moments ago. And now somehow is already back on the offense. Intercontinental champion Sami Zayn sent into the ropes by force of the challenger tonight. Down goes Corbin. And now Zayn once more with Corbin on the outside. Already hit the Tornado DDT, followed by the Tope Suicida, the Intercontinental Champion, once again soaring through the skies of Jacksonville, Florida. Baron Corbin gave this match his best hand, but Sami Zayn may be about to kick it in the gear that awarded him the Intercontinental Championship once again last week of the draft lottery. Into the corner he goes. Going for the Haluva kick. Nobody home. Baron Corbin sidesteps it. Takes out the knee. Oh my goodness. A second end of days by Corbin. Into the cover. Baron Corbin has defeated the Intercontinental Champion. Wow. Here is your winner. That was one physical fight. And you gotta put an asterisk on Sami Zayn's loss. Obviously coming into this matchup, nowhere near 100%, but you also can't take away. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Karrion Cross. the hell's he doing in the ring? Well, we said that partnership has gone up in smoke between these two men. Cross sneaking up on Baron Corbin and turning his lights off tonight on Raw. A victory celebration not to be had thanks to the Harbinger of Doom. Next week, when Monday Night Raw rolls in the Salt Lake City, the OC arrive after being drafted last week. The phenomenal AJ Styles competes in the main event of Monday Night Raw, one-on-one -on -one with the WWE Champion, Kevin Owens. That's coming your way live from the Delta Center in Salt Lake City, Utah, next week, right here on Monday Night Raw. But it is main event time here in the Veterans Memorial. Jacksonville, Florida. Tensions obviously riding high tonight on the road to vengeance. The Judgment Day with an ominous presence here overall. And for the first time since WrestleMania, Balor, Priest, they're back. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring at a combined weight of 439 pounds. Finn Balor and Damian Priest, The Judgment Day. The once two-time World Tag Team Champions, the 2023 Tag Team of the Year as voted by you, the fans. It all came crashing down over six weeks ago in AT&T Stadium by hands of Jay and Jimmy, the Usos. Of course, the Usos retained the World Tag Team titles 48 hours ago at Backlash of Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford of the Street Profits. And I am sure Balor and Priest, 
just like Rhea Ripley, are back tonight with one goal in mind, vengeance, and getting back their championships that they lost at WrestleMania. Balor and Priest issuing an open challenge, looking to prove why they ruled over Raw with an iron fist, month in and month out. But who will accept this duo's action? Wait a minute, who's this? Oh, ho, ho, wait a minute! And their opponents at a combined weight of 400 pounds. Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano D I Johnny Gargano drafted to roll last week. And these two men wasting no time with the reformation of D.I.Y. Former World Tag Team Champions that were separated in last year's draft now come back together, a part of the Monday Night Raw roster. And this is not what the Judgment Day could have expected. Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa, DIY and the Judgment Day about to throw down here in Jacksonville, Florida. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The bell has sounded. It is main event time. A matchup that could have huge World Tag Team title implications. Johnny Wrestling spent the past year on Friday Night SmackDown while Tommaso Ciampa was writing his own chapter here on Monday Night Raw. But Gargano drafted here to the red brand last week and DIY wasting no time aligning with each other once again. Damian Priest knows all about Gargano and Ciampa. Days before the Judgment Day, when Priest was once World Tag Team Champions alongside Emmanuel Seal and Velocity this Wednesday, that being Dijak, a tag team title reign that was spoiled back in January of 2023 by DIY. Priest no strangers to his opponents tonight, but still has to be thrown off their game. Does the Judgment Day, or maybe not? Priest getting tagged in, and I'm sure these two men have put together a brand new arsenal to try to mow over the tag team division all over again. But will they be able to turn away the surprising challenge of Gargano and Ciampa? You look up and down the tag team division here on Raw, DIY could not have been in the foresight of Priest and Balor. But here we are, main event, Veterans Memorial in Jacksonville. Judgment Day issuing an open challenge. DIY the first to sign their names on the contract. And Gargano making the tag to Tommaso Ciampa, the first time we're seeing Ciampa in action since prior to WrestleMania. And Ciampa coming out in a blades of glory. Champa for a while has been chasing singles goal. Oh my goodness! Taking out Priest, a tope suicide to Finn Balor, all the while doing so. Champa and Gargano on fire. As we were mentioning, for some time, Champa's been chasing championship gold here on Raw, has challenged for the Intercontinental title, the WWE title at one point. Now back in the tag team division, you gotta believe DIY have their sights on the gold, currently held by Jay and Jimmy Uso. Meanwhile, Damian Priest just trying to kick the jaw right out of socket by Tommaso Ciampa. Champa, fighting right back, going for the fallaway neckbreaker. Damian Priest says otherwise. Man, DIY exploded in the early part of this matchup. Champa, a few moments ago, knocking Priest off the apron. I should say, knocking him over the top rope, down to the outside, and then taking Finn Balor out with a toe pace suicida. That doesn't show you that Champa and Gargano came to win tonight. I don't know what will. Easier said than done, however when you're in there with former two-time World Tag Team Champions. Balor and Priest have competed in Tornado Tags and ladder matches, the obvious 2v2 matches like tonight, and they have ruled through them all. A classic battle with Jay and Jimmy Uso back at WrestleMania. It was anybody's ball game, but Priest and Balor unfortunately just fell short to main event Jay Uso. And the sometimes Maybe dark and devious Jimmy. 
Johnny Gargano tagged in. Much needed tag, if I say so myself. Gargano going for the pinfall here. Finn Balor with the shoulder up. And I'll tell you, talking a lot about the Usos, they better not be on the mind of the Judgment Day at this current moment, because if they are, DIY may play as a distraction and may play as a factor in a losing effort for the Judgment Day tonight. Judgment Day coming back to Raw collectively tonight with championship aspirations, you gotta believe. DIY, surprisingly here in Jacksonville, you gotta believe are doing the same. Look at Gargano taking the fight to Finn Balor anywhere necessary, inside the ring, outside the ring. And Balor looks like he doesn't know what hit him. Yeah, what do you think's going through the mind of the rest of the tag team division? You know, last week, Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders, also drafted here to Raw. You got the Creed brothers here in the tag team division. Pretty deadly, Cameron Grimes and Cedric Alexander, of course, the Usos themselves. There's already a competitive division here on Monday Night Raw. Now add in Gargano and Champa once more. Competition at an all-time high. Oh! Damian Priest making a charging effort for Tommaso Ciampa. I think Ciampa made him pay for his sins. Fortunately for DIY, Finn Balor still in control over Johnny Gargano. Gargano back here on Monday Night Raw for the first time in over a year after the draft lottery last week. And it's not going too well for the whole shebang at the current moment. Buckle bomb by Balor. And the beatdown commences as the Prince is hungry for victory tonight. Jay and Jimmy Uso retaining their World Tag Team titles of Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford who are on their way to SmackDown this past Saturday night. I am sure they are looking upon this main event matchup, looking at two possible candidates to challenge them in the near future for the Tag Team titles. Damian Priest and Finn Balor have had their go around with Jay and Jimmy. Gargano and Ciampa would be brand new opponents. Who's gonna step up next? This may not be an official number one contenders matchup, but when you got two juggernauts of the division going at it, you gotta know the Usos are waiting to see who's gonna step up. And it could be Johnny Gargano, as well as Tommaso Ciampa. As Gargano takes out Damian Priest. No much needed cover after a Judgment Day assault the last few moments. Johnny Wrestling not able to keep down the Archer of Infamy. Damage certainly done. The punishment of the Judgment Day is feeling the punishment by hands of DIY at the current moment, but maybe not for long. Champa getting tagged in. Priest was right there with a hard shot to the jawline once again, and now stacks up Tommaso Champa. And if he wasn't in enemy territory, that could have been a three count that time. Now Priest taking care of Gargano. Tommaso Ciampa like a sitting duck. Damian Priest striking while the iron's hot. Priest and Balor. And you might as well say the same about Rhea Ripley, who we saw in a dominant performance earlier tonight. The Judgment Day did not come to mince words, did not come to play games. They are back here on Monday Night Raw collectively looking for their piece. But Tommaso Ciampa wants DIYs. Ref, get out of the way. We couldn't see the damn move. Fairy tale ending. And he almost had him that time. Somebody better get in John Cone's earpiece after that. Nonetheless, Tommaso Ciampa with a fairy tale ending. Unfortunately, wasn't the ending DIY was hoping for. Oof. Damian Priest, damage has got to be done as Ciampa scales the ropes. Coming off the top of the knee. And imagine if it is a comeback story before our very eyes, unexpectedly tonight on Raw from DIY. Champion into the cover once more. Looks like a rope break from my vantage point. Referee's calling it differently, but nonetheless, Priest survives. An ominous night as the Judgment Day looms. The DIY could be the kryptonite to Priest and Balor. Could be playing spoiler upon their return. Tag back to the whole shebang, Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano. 
making his Monday Night Raw return. Gargano with a four. And certainly just a week ago, we would not have expected these two teams to be main eventing Monday Night Raw, but nonetheless, here we are. The effects of the draft lottery, the effects of championship gold, possibly looming in the distance. Meet it on the outside, and Damian Priest trying to make Gargano look like he's just been through a car wreck at ringside. Mean Lariat moments ago. And now the punishment. Look at a prey. Headlock driver. Enough to knock anybody out any day of the week, twice on Monday. And now Gargano on the receiving end of a devastating maneuver. Oh, Tommaso Ciampa breaking things up with the double boots. Couple of times there, Priest almost had this matchup, unfortunately not to be, thanks to the numbers of the DIY. Fowler tagged in, swing blade delivers. Gargano may have survived thanks to Tommaso Ciampa, but he is certainly not thriving by hands of the Judgment Day. Fowler going behind, Gargano may rue the day he ever laced up a pair of boots in a Monday Night Raw ring. Back into the cover, goes the Prince. Gargano with the shoulder up and the matchup rolls on. DIY's return may be spoiled by hands of the returning Judgment Day. These two teams wage in war in the main event in Jacksonville. Gargano with the sidestep. A much needed reversal by hands of the whole shebang. Tag made to Tommaso Ciampa. And I think we know what comes next? Me in the middle. Chip into the cover. A little close for comfort there. The punishment, Damian Priest breaking things up. And Chip trying to divide and conquer. Take it out, Priest. Finn Balor not able to get to his feet. Knee to the Prince. We could be nearing a DIY victory. Damian Priest down. Finn Balor down. Obvious damage done off the meat in the middle. Tommaso Ciampa has just got to keep stacking this offense. Eventually the Judgment Day are going to give in. We have seen them in wars in the past, but eventually they'll meet their breaking point. Tag made to Priest once again. Did not get all of that boot, but got all of that hand. Tommaso Ciampa trying to shake the cobwebs off. Champ into the corner. Damian Priest stacking him up in the middle of this competitive tag team main event. And oh no, Tommaso Ciampa is in desperate need of a reversal here. Razor's edge by Priest. Johnny Gargano breaking things up again. Oh, and Finn Balor. The Judgment Day could have used that a moment ago, but nonetheless, Gargano knocked off the apron. Priest could be going south of heaven. Champa said, not today. A second fairy tale ending. Will that be all she wrote? Not to be denied is Damian Priest. This capacity audience here in the Veterans Memorial coming unglued. Jacksonville, Florida, witnessing a classic main event here on Monday Night Raw. Champa delivering the knee. Damian Priest somehow able to survive and a knee for his troubles. Back and forth, Priest and Champa waging war. Jockin' for position at the current moment as Priest goes down. Now back and forth, the momentum swings between these two guys. Johnny Gargano can definitely use a tag right now. Damian Priest with other plans. Off the spin kick, and a second headlock driver to Tommaso Ciampa. Into the cover goes the punishment. That's gonna do it. DIY returning tonight, but not to be was a victory thanks to the Judgment Day. Oh, wait just a second. The World Tag Team Champions, Jay and Jimmy, the Usos. 
These two teams waged war back at WrestleMania. The Usos know what the Judgment Day's intentions are to get back the World Tag Team titles. A sarcastic congratulations off their victorious return. Judgment Day turning away DIY. But now they turn their sights to the two men at the top of the stage, Jay and Jimmy, the World Tag Team Champions. A rematch has gotta be looming. Vengeance has gotta be near for the Usos and the Judgment Day.